in case anyone misses the session. Uh, all right, there we go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is April 16th, 2024. We're on day two of week one of our first University of Jobs program, uh, AI for Project Management. Really happy to have you here on today's morning stand-up. Um, we're going to keep it to half an hour so that everyone has time to finish up and uh, to get through the stand-up, hear all the announcements, um, hear how some people are doing, and then get back to work. Because we know that a lot of people are busy doing other things in parallel. Um, for the weird sound, it felt like yesterday was a great start. A couple of teething problems uh, around things like scheduling uh, and access to the 10x platform. In most cases, we've worked with people to understand what the root cause issue was. Um, in many cases, it's people who are new to the training and hadn't signed up or they'd gotten the link from somebody else getting used to time zones as well. So what we're going to do is the same as usual, uh, or this will become the usual. We're going to go to announcements first, just to practical stuff. And we're going to go around the table with the team so that they can make announcements. And then we're going to spend about uh, 15 to 20 minutes just hearing from different people, uh, different trainees as part of just to hear what they uh, were able to get done yesterday, uh, what they plan to do today, and if they have any questions or blockers. So let's go to Makita first for announcements. We'll go to Makita and then to uh, Emilia. Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm very excited to get you all joined on our B2 of UTG training. Um, so a couple of announcements. One is on um, the scheduling problem that we're that many are facing. Um, so I tried to look at uh, the notion schedule from different trainees thank you guys for sharing um so i guess uh, the notion adjusts the time zone to the uh to the device that you're using so if the device that you're using is uh, in the time zone of eat then it's gonna adjust the schedule towards that uh, time zone so if anyone else have uh this problem you can um, get back to us and also we'll be sharing every um, se session before starting uh, so you can also uh, get that information from the uh, broadcasting channel there and the other uh, announcement is that people are uh, having trouble to access Tenex, and that's because uh, we've only added people that were admitted in the first application phase uh, to the Tenex platform and now the application is open to for you guys to uh invite your friends and also for other people that wants that want to join and we're in on the waiting list so until then uh you might be facing that problem because we need to uh, close the application first before admitting people to the platform so that's why uh that has been an issue um, I guess that's it from my side. Uh, Emilian, if you want to go. Uh, Arun, you're muted. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> Thank you. Just to recap that, uh, so what that means is when you open up the Notion schedule, and so please, everyone, you don't need to ask which, when, which session, when, which session is happening the single source of truth in terms of scheduling will remain the Notion calendar. And what Notion is doing is it's updating itself to be in your time zone. So this stand-up is 8 a.m. UTC. If I look at the calendar, it's currently showing me 10 a.m. because it's 10 a.m. where I'm based. If I was based in Addis or in Nairobi, then it would show me 11 a.m. So the calendar will be updated to your time, but we will continue to communicate on Slack and UTC because that's one coordinated time. So that's one. If uh, yesterday there was a question about whether friends can attend the training, um, so two important points to make there. One is if you have not signed up for the training, if you've just gotten this link or somebody told you about it, you're most welcome to be here. But each and every person, 100% of people must apply for the training. Otherwise, we won't know who you are. We won't be able to grade you. We won't be able to give you feedback. So there is a channel which has been opened. And you can go to that channel, click on the apply link, apply for the program and the applications will close at the end of this week. And it's only after that that we'll be able to add you to the platform. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us, but uh, 
everyone, if you're not able to access the 10X platform um, and you haven't applied, that's the reason why. Okay, Emilian, over to you. If you're speaking, we're not able to hear you. Okay, so maybe Emilien's uh, audio is not keeping up. So today we have a set of different, can you go, can you hear us, Emilien? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Emilien, you can just start speaking whenever your audio is cooperating. So this morning, uh, we have our daily stand-up. At, uh, at 10 a.m. UTC, we're gonna be having a tutorial on data visualization using Google Sheets. At uh, noon or 12 UTC, we're gonna be having a community building session online on Slack, just like we had yesterday. And Emilienne's gonna be telling us what's what to look forward to. At noon or 12 uh, UTC, sorry, that was 11 a.m. is the community building session. At 12 is the data analysis technique session. And then after that, those are the that's the extent of the programs for today. As always, tutorial videos will be uh, recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel. Um, community build, building session is happening here on Slack. So before we go over to the trainee, the trainees, are there any other announcements from the team? Emilian, are you able to speak? Can I be can I be heard now? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, thank you so much. So uh, I just want to talk about community building session, as Arun said. So this is actually um, a daily activity, continuing continue activity to strengthen your relationship, our relationship as a community, supporting learning community. But uh, I would love to recommend everyone to join these sessions. I'll be uh, sending reminders every 10 minutes before the session. So uh, you just join, we build a community, we build relationship, we know more each other. Yeah, so uh, that's it, I think. Sure. And do you want to tell us what what you have planned for today? Yeah, today is just uh, meet and greet. So we'll be knowing more each other, greeting. Yeah. So um, I think we send uh, we send a reminder before okay. that and a description of what we're going to be doing. But it's just meet and greet, of course, because uh, I think some a lot of people missed yesterday. So we're gonna have kind of what we had yesterday. Just meet. Okay, we're not able to hear. Yeah, okay, we lost your connection there for a second. I'm still curious. There was somebody at the community building session who said that he is the tallest and most handsome person in his country, but this person didn't send a photo. So it was interesting to get to know some of the people here. Um, wonderful. Okay, guys, we want to take 10 volunteers. And what we would like to do is just to get your feedback uh, to hear what progress you made yesterday, if any, um, what you plan to get done today in terms of the challenge work and then any questions or any blockers that you have. Our approach uh, is a little bit different than probably most of the training programs that you've taken part in. You have the, the weekly challenge document, which was introduced yesterday, and uh, there are some guidelines that are there. There are clear deliverables uh, which have been outlined, and so we have an interim submission on Wednesday, and we have a final submission on Saturday. We will give you feedback after the final uh, submission. We will also be adding this week, we're gonna be asking you to submit your CV so that we can start giving you feedback on your CV right away because we're here to improve your employability and your CV or your resume is an important component of that. Tamirat's asking questions. Um, so Tamirat is asking, is there a template or a format that we expect to follow as the standard? So I think that's a good question. What we're gonna do is add a little bit more detail uh, to the challenge document to give a little bit more guidance on that. So Tamara will do that. Um, can feel way we can provide a link to the YouTube channel. What I do, and you can do the same, is simply to Google YouTube space 10 and then space Academy, and you'll find our uh, your you'll find our channel there. If you want us to do that for you, we can also do that for you, but you can also just Google it yourself. Um, Okay, any other questions? Or let's jump straight into the stand-up. We're going to keep to time. So we're looking for 10 people, and we're going to start with uh, Muhan Munhai Min Ali. And again, if I say your name incorrectly, as I will do for 90% of people, please uh, just introduce yourself at the start so we know how to say, say your name correctly. Um, thank you very much, Aaron. 
Um, my name is Good morning. Good morning. My name is Mohaimin Ali. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Ghana. Which country? From Ghana. You're from Ghana. Yes. At the same. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> right. That's nice. Okay. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. Actually, yesterday I missed the first session, but I had to go on YouTube to be able to, you know, cover or catch up with um, um what I missed. And then yeah. um um, um uh, like my background is from the technological you know aspect and um with this project with this um uh, ai project management i find it very very intriguing and then I, I when when i got the when i got the the opportunity to join the program i was very 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 happy and when i followed yesterday's training the um ibm training what what one thing that i wanted to understand is one when uh, I think someone asked that question, the format for or the template for reporting for the assignments, and then also um, what is the other timelines that we have to meet? Because as I've, I've seen that within a week we have to finish the first the first project. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So I want to know what are, uh, uh, what 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 other trainings are we going to get? Because it seems I don't know whether we 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 is just preconceived that we should know some of the techniques or we're going to get a very thorough training on how to you know go about the assignment that we're going to be given that 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 that, that, that has been given or it's just going to be like we're going to do our searches online to be able to put everything together thank you very much yeah no i think so you have a couple of questions there your first question was what's required to be handed in so this week there are only uh three things that you have to submit so on saturday end of day um, you have to submit uh, an updated CV, and we'll be providing more guidance on that. So watch the Slack channel, but that'll be one submission. Um, okay. And we'll be providing you with some more information on what we're looking for. Uh, a template CV format will also be provided. We will also be asking you to submit um, the full project for, for this week, the weekly challenge. Now, if people are asking for a reporting template, we're absolutely happy to provide that. Um, and so we'll give you a little bit more information. One of the things that we said in uh, yesterday's stand-up is that this is the first time we're doing training at this scale, and also of this uh, in scaling down our intensive training to 20 hours a week. So in our flagship program, our intensive training, we ex we give people very, very little guidance and expect them to figure out what to do. We have um, a handful of people who are also uh, participants in our intensive training who are here, and I think normally we tell them much, we expect much more and tell them much less. We don't want to do that. Um, we want to make sure that people have an idea of what they should be doing. So in brief, um, the data analysis uh, has to be done. The data is provided. Um, the tutorials will give you more guidance throughout the week. And then uh, the report will actually be written. We would like you to write the report using generative AI tools. Now, taken together, what we're looking for is not a perfectly analyzed project. The uh, recommendations that you make are not going to impact any real company, but we want you to develop comfort and fluency in this method uh, of results-based management and using generative AI to accelerate that. So in this case, the you can say that the data that we're providing you and the scenario that we're providing you they're invented, it's just a simulation, it's not real. But it's familiarity with Google Sheets that becomes important. Um, and Tamira, no, everything has to be submitted by uh, through the 10X platform. So please don't email us your CVs. Uh, everything has to be submitted through the 10X platform. Otherwise, we won't be able to keep track of it. Um, and so that keep that in mind, keep the why we are here in mind. It's developing the fluency with uh, the generative AI tools and the data analysis tools. This week, we're really focused on getting used to the system. We're focused on using Google Sheets for visualization and data analysis, and then the generative AI tools. That's what we're focused on. I hope that answers your question. One thing that one add Very well. is that we, if you, if more guidance is required, we are happy to provide that. Sorry, Mohan Min, go ahead. Yeah, I said like, thank you very much. I think it answers my question very well. Like I've been clear. Okay. okay. 
Wonderful. Okay, so Petronella is asking a question about the techniques and more supportive and informative. So we can do our best to make it, uh, to give a little bit more information, but one request that I would have back is that we, we want, uh, we believe that active learning is, is important. And what that means is that we are not a, we're not an organization where we will just present something, you click through and then you have to pass the test because we don't, we believe and we've learned that that won't help your employability. You might get a certificate, but when it comes to an interview or showing uh, information on your profile, you may not have uh, the fluency that an employer is looking for. So we have to find the right balance between giving you information and, uh, and encouraging you to do some of the work uh, yourself. I definitely understand that, uh, but given that these are projects and they require practical fluency. It would be nice for somebody to at least give us that practical understanding because there's one thing you can read and then there's another for you to really go apply the, the, um, the skills required. So I don't know if there's a way for the tutorials to at least if that person gives, even if it's just a 10 minutes, a rundown of you know this is how you can try and go about it so that at least we have an idea because some of us some of those concepts are new to us so i think maybe there should be that consideration as well so that it doesn't feel like you know you just throw it into the deep end and now you have to submit something tomorrow yet you don't have an idea how that's supposed to look like okay so we'll take that on board i remember that the submission tomorrow the goal the reason why we introduced the midweek submission is we saw that otherwise people were keeping everything into the last minute and it became overwhelming for people to on thursday night or friday morning they realized that they were about 36 hours from having to submit so the midweek deadline is a, it's a very small submission or it's only part of it and it's more of a timing submission to keep people on track but petronella we hear what you're saying in terms of uh, a little bit more hands-on practical guidance on how to do it and we will do our best to add a little bit more of that information and adjust uh, to that as well. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So we'd love to hear from nine more people. So uh, the template that we're looking for is how yesterday was, what your plan is today in terms of the project, and especially as we get to know each other, whether there are any blockers, any challenges that people are facing. Chantel, yeah, submission of assignments is very much through 10x feedback. 10x is our learning management system. You can say it's our version of Google Classroom or Moodle or what have you. So all submissions and all feedback, all grading, everything is done through that platform. Um, please don't email us, otherwise we'll lose your assignment. So we'd love to hear from a couple of people. Are there any other, uh, anyone want to share progress that they made yesterday? Was Maybe I can be more specific. Was anyone able to download the data set? Maybe we can see uh, using the reaction function, thumbs up. Was anyone able to download the data set? Yeah. OK. So we have three people who are able to download the data set. It's not a huge number. Grace, uh, Leah, we have some more people. That's fine. Good. OK, let's go to Faye Sayo. Hey, Sayo, do you want to go? Hello. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Um, I just have a question or something to say. Yeah, firstly, thank you very much. Um, I think yesterday was very, uh, very, very impactful, I guess. It was also motivating. I feel, you know, motivated to really work on this. Uh, but I, I just want to ask, um, the tutorial video um, that was uploaded yesterday was only for the first part. I've not seen the other two. Uh, okay. So lessons. then we'll get, so we'll come back to those will be uploaded today. Um, Makita, are you able to give, maybe you can type in the chat box an estimated time when the, when they will be uploaded. Sure. Right, thank you. Okay, there's a question in the chat box about do we use data from all three countries or should we be selecting one? So Natnail, I'm gonna hand that one over to you. Okay, uh, uh, you've gone on to mute, Natnail. Okay, how about now? 
Yeah, better now. Okay, so uh, we suggest you use all three data sets. So because all three are from uh, Safari three countries. So one is from Benin, one is from Togo, and one is from Sierra Leone. So you have to use all three. Yeah, we suggest you do that because you will understand the data more and also you will understand, uh, you will you'll have uh, the right proposition in in a way that like which side to use or which side to choose. So for more light company, when you actually are giving strategies, you will have in, enough information and you will you'll basically decide being informative. So we suggest you use all the three data sets. And now a question to you, if somebody wants to just use one data set because maybe they don't have a sufficient amount of time, then I believe that it would still fulfill the core part of the work. Three is better, but one is possible? Yeah, yeah, it's still possible. But as I mentioned, it's just in order to have more information and in order to make your strategy more robust. Yeah, OK, that sounds good. Uh, after work, ask, is there any assignment given in yesterday's training? So after work, we have, there are no daily assignments, we have weekly assignments. So the weekly assignment is to um, finish the challenge for the week. The final submission is due on Saturday, and we have an in-between or an interim submission due on Wednesday. We will be providing a new assignment during this week, which is again due on Friday, which is to upload and submit your CV. And yeah. So if if Tusira asks um, if the file's in a CSV format, is it manageable like the Excel sheet? So that's a great question. And this is the type of question that I would like everyone to feel free to use the all week one um, channel to ask our tutors. So we have a team of tutors. We have technical tutors. We have Natnael, who you've heard from. We have Karod, who you've heard from. We have other tutors who will be joining us as well. And during the week from every day from after the stand-up until 2 p.m. UTC, the tutors are available online. You can ask any question that you would like, and we guarantee that within five minutes, you'll be getting an answer. So you don't need to wait for the morning stand-up, but we want to make this a uh, an asynchronous online community-driven course where either other people in the community will answer your questions or members of the 10 Academy team will answer your questions. So Faisayo says, can we submit the assignment tomorrow? Uh, yes, tomorrow, that's the Wednesday submission. You should submit as much as you can. And then the final submission is on Saturday. So can we hear from, we've heard from two people. I'd love to hear from uh, three to four more, just to hear whether, has anyone made progress that they would be happy to share? Were they able to understand something about RBM, Sorry. download data? Yeah, Faisai, go ahead. So I'm asking if I can submit like partially, like if I'm unable to finish and then just submit the rest on Saturday or just wait to finish. Well, there is a submission tomorrow and you will, uh, we won't be giving you detailed feedback until Saturday. So there's no disadvantage to submitting partially tomorrow. Actually, we do want people to submit partially tomorrow. So what you're asking if you can do is what we would uh, request that you do. Submit as much as you have tomorrow, and we won't be giving you detailed feedback, but it's after the Saturday submission that we'll be providing detailed feedback. So yes, please do that. Submit what you have tomorrow, and then submit the final assignment on Saturday. So Princess is saying, I don't know how to access the assignment and which platform to submit. So the assignment is available. It's a Google document. Uh, you should have access to a folder. It's also been shared uh, a number of times in the All Week One channel. I'm going to ask the team to uh, make a submission, uh, to make a post in the broadcast channel outlining uh, with a direct link to the assignment um, so that everyone has it. So look at the broadcast channel for that. That's number one. And the submission platform is our 10x platform, Princess. So do you have access to the 10x platform? Are you logged into that platform? Yes. OK, so the submission is there. Um, if you're not able to find it, it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you're not able to find where to submit that, then you can send a screenshot and ask a question in the All Week One channel. Um, yeah. 
Are there any other questions? I'd love to hear from two people who have made some progress and they would like to share the progress that they've made. Can we do that? I know it's a little bit, we're getting used to this new approach to training. So how do we submit the assignment? There doesn't seem to be uh, any information on the 10X platform about the submission process. So yeah, okay, let me come back. <laughs> okay, so Kone, we are going to, as, as mentioned about uh, 30 seconds ago, we will keep an, keep an eye on the broadcast channel in Slack. We will be posting the assignment, the link to the assignment there. We believe all of you have received it, but for the avoidance of any doubt, look at the broadcast channel. Also look at all week one, we will be posting it there. We have a message from Barakat, who's uh, coordinating, who's on the 10X team, that the assignment submission link will be available tomorrow. So right now, because there are no submissions, there's no assignment link yet but that'll be available tomorrow for everyone to submit. So Katema, I hope that answers your question. Princess as well. Amelia says, I've downloaded the files and I'm trying to understand how I will be able to do the tasks for tomorrow. So Amelia, the first thing that you need to do if you don't know what to do is ask a question in Slack on uh, what's the best way to go about it and somebody on the tutoring team or somebody from the community will give you some guidelines. But I, we also believe that the challenge document should be providing you with a sufficient set of instructions for you to get started. So Ohunene will get you the template for the report today. Fiorosma says, please, I'm unable to join Slack from my email because there's nothing received email. So Fiorosma, I would ask you to email utj at 10academy.org and we'll be able to answer your question from there. Um, most people have been able to join Slack, so I don't know what the issue is there. Uh, the 10X platform and Slack are not the same thing. They're not the same thing. Slack is our text communication platform and the 10X platform is our learning management system where you submit your assignments and you get feedback. And so Ethan will be uh, adding information on the template to the challenge document. So we can also add it to by Slack. We will not be emailing you. We'll add it to the challenge document. Gitara? Uh, hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning too. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, mine is just but a concern uh, about the schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, I'm not sure if it's only me who is finding uh, it hectic to understand that schedule because we have saturday on the top there we have to look for monday on the, down there like could we have a, a good flow of let's say we start from monday like the good flow of dates then the other thing is on time uh is Sorry, there just, a way maybe just before just before we move on so what, what do you mean by a good flow of dates i just like to understand that please okay the schedule eh? yeah uh as shared eh? We yeah. have we have the first day there being a Friday. But you can um, scroll over. I mean it's it's like a Google calendar view. You can you have to you can set it to whatever you want it to be. So okay. in my in my view, it's Monday to Saturday. Just, okay, okay, just okay. scroll over. I mean Notion is a nice online platform. Uh, just keep scrolling over and you'll find more more days. Okay, okay. Uh, Another issue is about the time. Uh, yeah. Is there a way that we will have maybe if you share this time that it, it gets translated to our local time? So it already does. I mean, what if you look at the, the notion setup, it should be showing you your local time. Okay, but, let me check. But every single day is going to be more or less the same. Every day at 8 a.m. UTC, and I believe based on your name and your accent that you're from Kenya, it'll be 11 a.m. is the daily stand-up. OK. Because the difference between UTC and East African time is three hours. OK, so that's, that's OK. So what is it showing you on your calendar? Is it 11 a.m.? Oh, yeah, actually, it's 11. I've seen it, it's 11, but 
Uh, let's go back to the schedule. Okay, let's go back to the schedule. Eh? On yep. time, thank you for cl for clarifying that on time. I'm good now. Yep. Uh, on the schedule, uh, like for today, it, it's on Tuesday. We have stand up. Stand up happening at eleven. Then on top of the stand up, we have a community building session, which is supposed to happen at two. Then we have on top of the of the community building session. We have the two tutorial data visual, visualization using Google Sheets that is supposed to happen at one. Like this thing is somehow, somehow confusing. There's no flow of time. Like I, how I expect, okay, like how I, I am used to, uh, like maybe if something is happening at 10, what follows should happen at 11, then 12, not uh, maybe what, uh, you show 11 then you show maybe the next one is uh let's say nine yeah so there's that so i i'm not sure which view you're using but this is the view that i see and this is the trainee view that i'm showing you so this is how i this is in my time zone okay so in i understand that your view is not it's not sorted or it's showing in a very unusual way this is the view that i see okay which, which addresses those issues so it may be simply a question of sorting. That Nail, do you have do you have something you want to add? Yeah, I think uh, you are viewing as a, uh, on the table. Maybe you can switch it to board view, and you actually can see all the schedule correctly. So if you are on table, you might get a mixed up uh, view, oh. but on board you'll see the schedule correctly. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, it worked. Thank you. I was using the the table, and it was confusing me. Yeah, this is the view that we should all be using. Thanks, Danelle. So that's, yeah, this this view should be pretty straightforward. It should be organized by day. It should show you the times. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Eh? Yeah, you're welcome. So, Sosten, I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to cut and paste your question into Slack, and then one of the tutors is going to come back to you in writing to answer your question, because that's exactly the type of question that you sh people should be asking um, if you don't know exactly what to do then ask a question during the day on Slack and we'll be able to provide um, you with these sorts of answers. So it sounds to me like we're still, it's gonna take us a couple of days for everyone to get used to the scheduling, the timing, the uh, what we're expecting in terms of assignments. So please do keep asking the questions. There's no such thing as a dumb question. I think it's really just about us providing uh, information in the way that this very, 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 diverse and quite large group is expecting to expecting to see. Afterward, go ahead. Afterward, are you there? Do you have a question? Yeah, so Ethan, what I've done is I've just posted that question on Slack, and then the answers it will be visible to everyone in the all week one. And this is the power of asking questions in a public forum like the all week one channel, because everyone can see the answer. And we believe that uh, if somebody has a question, more than one person will benefit from that answer. So, yeah, after work, are you, I can't hear you if you're speaking. Okay, uh, do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, no, uh, I want to talk to Nail. Nail, uh... After work, I'm sorry, your connection is not very good. We can't oh, hear okay. you. Go ahead. Okay. Now we can hear no, you. Go ahead. You hear me? Yeah. Okay. Now, in person, I want to uh, contact Nathanael. OK, go ahead. What would, any, like to, what, what would hmm? you like to ask him? About uh, time uh, uh, schedule, how to use time schedule. OK, I mean, what have, what have you tried? 
because uh, I, I, I can't get uh, all every, everything in the document in uh, my uh, channel. Okay, so I, maybe what you, if you can do, if you can type up your question in, uh, so why okay. don't you write to that mail on Slack and maybe he can sort, he can sort you out. But actually, I think we have other people who can help you. You can also write to Makita, who is our mm -hmm. board manager. She may be able to help you as well. So okay. it should be okay. a solvable thing. I think what we're going to do, just to make it easy, is I'm going to post a PDF file for everyone just to have a, uh, a, a view just to make sure that that's easy, because that might be helpful for some people. So we'll do that in, during the course of the day today. Okay. Uh, okay. We have someone from the team. I think it's Emilienne. Go ahead. Uh, it's actually Makida. Okay. But I just wanted to say that uh, we posted the, <clears throat> the folder for the technical challenge content on all week one as a bookmark. So you can all find it there for the, those of you uh, who are having trouble accessing it. Yeah. So I think what, what we want to make sure is that everyone knows uh, exactly when the sessions are and what has to be done by who at which time. There still seems to be a little bit of confusion. So we're going to be working today to give you more information on the reporting template. We are going to um, give you a little bit more information in the tutorials on actually, on actually how to do the data analysis. Um, we're going to be a little bit more specific on whether you need all three data sets or just one. And then we're going to post, you know, this notion view is fine and it's, it's quite powerful, but we're also going to post a simplified view, like a screenshot um, of what's happening during the day. And we hope that with those three things taken together, and uh, especially that um, especially that people are using the Slack mm -hmm. channel to, an to answer questions or ask questions, we'll be able to make progress. There's a question about uh, whether you're allowed to form teams to work together. So we absolutely encourage collaboration. People should feel free to work together, but everyone must do his or her own work. So we don't want to see 100% identical assignments, 100% identical reports, that doesn't seem realistic, but there's absolutely no problem in collaborating on doing some of the data analysis or asking questions. Collaboration is encouraged, but full copying is uh, is discouraged. And if to Sira, then please contact the team on the 10X support channel. Um, I can't solve your issue right now about email and invalid passwords. Um, yeah, so Zenebe, I, that's true. I haven't gotten the channel you showed us the calendar table. Um, you you should have access to Notion. Are you are you logged in? Have you applied for the program, or are you how how have you joined us? Because if you haven't received that link, it could be that you haven't applied for the program. So, if you're not able to access the Notion table, then I think the link has been shared. We'll share it again and make sure that everyone has access to that. OK, I'm going to wrap up because we're out of time. So let us, yeah, so Zenebe, I think we're going to post the calendar link. You know what, everyone, please give us a couple of minutes, and then we'll come back to you uh, with one posting that can be uh, used as a reference with the schedule, with access to the challenge, um, and we'll put it in a place that should be easy to find. Um, so just to summarize in terms of announcements, we have two tutorials today. We have the community building session happening today. Um, there's no assignments that are due today, but what we're expecting is that people are making progress on the weekly challenge. We have the final submission of the weekly challenge on Saturday. We have uh, an interim submission. So whatever, as far as you've gotten, and we have a guideline of how far we think you should have gotten is due tomorrow. Um, if any of your friends would still like to apply, then you can, they can apply until Friday, end of day. Uh, until then, there's no real uh, access to the program possible until we close those applications and admit them to the program. My last uh, reminder is please use the Slack group to ask any questions. If you're not able to get into Slack, then send an email to utjumber2j at 10academy.org.
So with that, let's uh, stop the recording. Um, we have the tutorial starting in, I'm gonna check the time. We have the tutorial starting in uh, about one and a half hours, in 80 minutes actually, at uh, 10.